Hi boys and girls, this week in Mental Maths we're going to be looking at doubling numbers to 10. What we mean by doubling numbers is adding the same number to itself. So what number have we got in the tens frame here? I think we can work it out. Good, it's six isn't it? How do we know it's six? Yeah, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, but we also know it's six because we know that half a tens frame is five, plus one more is six, one more than five is six. And we also could say, well, we know a full tens frame is 10, and we can see there are four less than 10. So if you're really good with your number bonds, then you know that four plus six makes 10. So, let's look at doubling six together. We'll use a tens frame for this one. So we've got six on the first tens frame. So then we need another six on the next tens frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what we can do is we can just count them or we can move some of these counters onto this tens frame and that helps us to work out our answer so let's move some of these up then I think it's a bit clearer to see your answer how many have we got all together well done we've got 12 so double six is 12 the other way you could look at it is by putting six in your head so everyone put six in your head and we're going to count on another six. So remember, we've got six in our heads. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we get the same answer, don't we? Well done. Let's have a look at some examples that I've written down here. So the first one is four add four. Now you might not have counters and tens frames at home not the normal thing that people have around the house if you need something to help see what you can find have you got any toys pieces of lego you can use as counters have you got any um any beads or any pencils or rubbers or grapes or pencil sharpens just anything that you can use really to count so you could get four of them and then get another four of them and count them up. Or you can put the first four in your head and count on another four. So let's put four in our heads and let's count on four more. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight. So double four is eight. So remember double just means two lots of the same number just add the same number to itself so this time we've got double seven so it's seven add seven so let's put seven in our heads in your head and we're going to count on seven more okay so remember we're starting with seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14. Well done if you got that. 14. There we go. And the last example I've done for you today is this one here. Double 9, which just means 9 add 9. So what are we going to put in our heads? That's right, we'll put 9 in our head and then we're going to count on with 9 more fingers if you need to use your fingers okay so let's put nine in our heads so nine show me nine fingers that's really quick to do isn't it because we know it's one less than ten so we've got nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen well done if you knew that 18. Now ideally you will know your doubles all the way, so 1 add 1, 2 add 2, 3 add 3, all the way up to 10 add 10 
ideally you'll learn those off by heart so i can just say to you what six out six and you say 12. what's 10 out 10 and you'll know 20. so have a really good goal this week use your counters or whatever you've got if you need to if you can manage by putting the numbers the first number in your head and counting on then you can do that and see how well you can remember them and um, I'll test you when you get back to school. I'll see how well you've learned your doubles. Well done, everyone.